Well, it turns out that unlimited upgrades is a little bit broken. So we found a way of balancing it. One and all, welcome back to the AoE4 action. There was only one way to balance this mod. For those that have actually watched the previous video, the unlimited upgrades allows you to keep upgrading your text time and time again. And last time, a certain someone in purple in this game called Dragovan discovered that preservation of knowledge of bastards makes it a bit easy to exploit this game mode. So we're back for something a bit more balanced. We've rolled the wheel, we've spanned the wheel rather, and we've come to the decision that everyone is gonna be playing Mongols. And it is already messy. Look at the TC placements in this game. Some familiar faces, some new ones here. Don Arty has joined us. Don is in on the fun time here in the teal. We've got Dragovan back, the guy who dominated everyone with the Abbasids. Also playing the Mongols, everyone the Mongols. Gully Deckle is up here in the pink. We've got Lamette in the orange. Those are all conch level players. Mr. Merlin is looking for his home right here. Uh, he was a former conch. And then we've got Market in the green, Hussin in the blue, and finally, choosing to realize they made poor decisions, Redbeard going further east. All right, this is gonna be fun. So, the reason why we, we've done it this way is because some of the techs just break the game. Like Abbasids, we discover that that completely ruins the game for everyone else because the preservation knowledge meant you could get all your upgrades for one resource each. Smart move by Dragovan, can't fault him, a good win. But I thought the best way to play with this amazing mod would be to have everyone the same sieve. So the way that the unlimited blacksmiths works, or unlimited upgrades rather works, is that you're able to keep upgrading techs more than you normally would. Wheelbarrow can be researched five times. You can get improved processing for every sieve five times. Um, in this case, we can have some bonkers combos. We can have things like, for example, you can get Yam as many times as you like, meaning every unit in your aura will move at maximum move speed. You can get the bounty tech multiple times to ensure that you don't just get your 75 resources, you get 150, 225, 300 resources. There's some crazy things here. Pax Mongolica that gives you the extra, um, Mongolia rather, that gives you the extra 300 health on an outpost. Imagine doing that 10 times. 3,000 more health on outposts. This is going to be wild. And big shout out to the people saying they enjoy the community games. Like, honestly, th this is why I'm doing this. I think that this is the content that's missing. We've got 1v1 Sweat Lord stuff all over the place. Drongo covers a lot of that himself. Um, then you've got EGC running the entire kind of like competitive scene. I'm trying to come up with quirky ways of doing it. Because I've got my own way of being involved in the 1v1s. But I think I want to try to bring people into the game to play the game as well in fun ways. I think Age of Empires 4 has a lot of fun ways outside of 1v1 waiting to be discovered. So let's discover them. Okay, and here we go. Fat plop. Increase movement speed in your buildings and health as well. So what you're suggesting is not a TC rush, but a TC thrush? Because it's going to rub them up so hard the wrong way? I don't mind it. There's loads of crazy things you can do here. Let's see what people are going to go for. Pasha already dropped by Don. So here's some of the options you've got. You've got the Whistling Arrow, which is one I mentioned. <laughs> you can keep upgrading that. Imagine Whistling Arrow lasting for an entire minute. Bonkers. How about Pax Mongolica with the extra health and fire armor? 10 times that. So 30 fire armor and 3,000 extra health. Or how about this, folks? Step Lancers. Healing for an extra 10 per strike and having 100% more attack speed. And then, of course, the one that Recon just mentioned, the extra torch damage on infantry and cav for an extra plus 30 torch damage. The way these tech ups work is you can keep buying into them. They instantly research. But the main kind of burden initially is the price. Now, the other ones we've got here is the Magadai. I, I honestly would love to see Magadai. I don't think we're going to see it. But if there was a way that Magadai could work, it would be Sire Bow Limbs Tech plus 10. And then finally, of course, there's the Superior Mobility, which someone mentioned earlier if the, uh, if the TC rushes. You would be able to get... So with this movement speed increase, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you'd be able to get your Superior Mobility after about four researches you'd be able to get a TC moving in at two movement speed. So kind of bonkers to think about. Uh, let's switch over the colors so they come out correctly. Don is going to be in the teal here. And Don, by the way, I think he's already been going for the wheelbarrow, if I'm not mistaken. No? Wait, what's he getting then? Okay. I thought he was getting wheelbarrow. Apparently not. I think someone else was. There we go. He got one level, 1.29. <laughs> already Redbeard has discovered his position sucks for gold. We saw Gully try a similar position recently. It did not work out well. Let's see what everyone else is doing. I'm curious to see what the choices are going to be. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we get some textiles all in a gamers because textiles is really cheap here, folks. Textiles cost it's less than it's standard. 75 resources. Get 10 of that. Actually, I think it might be capped at five, but even at five, that's going to put you up a pretty insane 250 HP, right? That's enough to dive and burn down a TC. What else have we got coming through? What are the priorities here? Is everyone just going to go for Will Barra spam? I'd be surprised if they don't. It looks like market is a little bit slow to get set up here. Already an outpost up from Don, so that's going to deny access for Hussein over here. I feel like Will Barra being rushed is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, it looks like Yam isn't in there. I feared Yam to buff you up entirely, but it's not in the unique text for pastures. So unfortunately, you won't be able to buff yourself up through that means. There's still plenty of things here, though, like Military Academy. <laughs> it's kind of insane, actually. Military Academy, 175 resources to get 33% faster production. After you've got, like, three Raxes, I think that's more cost-efficient to build Military Academy than build more Raxes. <laughs> oh, can't get spared in. Don. <laughs> Already styling on red beard. Dragoman is not going to fall for the same trick though. Able to move away. Interesting. So, how are we looking? Dude, I love that everyone's just gone past you straight away. Everyone's just spamming them out. <laughs> and that's what I love to see in chat. Already people saying, oh yeah, I want to play this mod. Sounds funny. That's what I want to see more of. I love these type of modders. Like it's, there's a difference between just doing absurd. Like, oh, here's a thousand pop. And being a little bit creative. This is absurd. This map, uh, this map mod rather, is not made to be balanced, but it can be very fun. And I think the fact that we've done mirror matchups is going to make it as balanced as it needs to be for what we're experiencing here. Deerstone down the way. Don, looking a lot cleaner. Me, <laughs> wait, with who, Merlin? <laughs> he's building Silver Tree in the middle of the map on a map that doesn't have trade posts. So he's going to have to negotiate with someone here. For this to be of any value at all. <laughs> oh dear. What else have we got coming in? I'm keeping an eye on people. Oh, there you go. There it is. Dragovan. He went max wheelbarrow. 2.26 movement speed. A carry capacity at that stage. I think he's researched wheelbarrow in the maximum amount. Which means he has an extra carry capacity of 25, right? So 35 wood before dropping off. we got two levels coming in from Hoisin. I believe it is there at 1.49, uh, 1.97. Don should be about three or four levels in, if not maxed out. In fact, he's heading for it now. Okay, this is the only awkward thing with pastures is because they queue up the sheep, it delays your tech ups behind them because your tech ups come in instantly with this mod. Oh, boy. <laughs> you saw that, right? That small distance, how quick they were. Honestly, I think this is why Mr. Merlin went for Silver Tree, by the way, is that Deerstone's kind of irrelevant if you get this many levels of Wheelbarrow. For the most, anyway. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm going to be doing more of these. I'm going to be spinning different sieves here. God, I can feel it being a bit laggy as well. The, the weird thing is, like, who, who, I don't know if the developer's going to see this because they're a Chinese developer, but if they do, the one negative that I think causes this lag is the UI load. Like, this UI drops your frame rate pretty heavily when you're on it. So, are we getting step lancers, though? Oh my god, we are. Oh, wait. Please tell me we're getting step lancers. Has he been researching it? I wish there was a way to cleanly tell. Oh, he's going for improved bounty! <laughs> okay, then. Someone wants the goodies. Uh, unfortunately, I think improved bounty isn't in here, right? We, we confirmed that. You can get the burn to get additional torch damage, but you can't get the bounty pay. Still... Push in. Northside is about as cozy as you can get for Lamette. Lamette shouldn't have too much fighting going on in his neighborhood anytime too soon. Market a bit of a weird start here. Feels a little bit discombobulated, but I'm sure they'll recover it. Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. So who's been just trying to actually get rid of one of the biggest threats straight away? But Don, now with triple outposts. Probably going to be going straight to Steel Dara here. Means that these Keshiks are going to struggle to actually dive this. They can't actually kill the villagers off. It's just not been worth the investment. Is Hoisin just rushing Step Lancer upgrades? Oh my god, he is. Guys. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. So if he stacks it 10 times for 10% increased attack speeds, what's the default speed on a Keshik? Is it 1.6? 1.8 to attack? I feel it's like 1.5 maybe. 
So he'll be able to bring it down to the attack speed lower than Onobagisha if he gets all these Step Lancer upgrades while healing for an extra 10. <laughs> I'm here for it. Oh, he's down to 1.14 right now. <laughs> Is he the only one going Keshix? I love this. I love that people are going to do different strategies in this. I'm surprised no one went for torches and spears. I thought that was going to be a really popular one here. But it looks like everyone else is just choosing peace while Huisin chooses war. Like, look at the heal right now. He heals for five. <laughs> he just only attacks. And he's attacking quicker, folks. Goes in for the dive. Needle the idols out here. Don, dude, he's having a hard time with this right now. He needs some units to defend. It's just more and more passages coming out. What is his strategy here? Is he going textiles? It looks like he might be. Yeah, he's up to 125 health right now. <laughs> My job here is done, he says. After losing three Keshiks, he leaves. Don's about ready to go for a tech up, though. He just needs to sort his gold. And no, no. One person went for Silver Tree, folks. Mr. Merlin in the center is the only person in this game to do Silver Tree. Sadly, it means we will not see any trading. <laughs> I see sadly. I guess I ironically say that. Never feels like a bad thing to not see trade. Man, this is so laggy <laughs> right now. <laughs> and yeah, you can spam text. It's a bit weird in this matchup because if you spam text out of a pasture, it's waiting for the, the sheep to finish spawning, right? So you want to actually cancel a sheep in this situation to get the, the tech ups quicker. Interesting that Don's going for Military Academy here, by the way. What is the thought process? I mean, it's good once you have buildings, but like right, right now, you literally just have pastures. And Military Academy does not affect pastures. And yeah, there are some ecotechs here. There's Spice Red and Improved Processing. Of course, Recon, the most greedy mother ducker who loves to trade that I've ever seen, would be asking me if you can spam ecotechs. <laughs> the best part is at the end of the year, Recon was like, I've changed. I'm such an aggressive player now. Instantly, he's like, can I get more eco? This is so laggy. Oh my god. All right, Don. He's on his way up. It's going to be step read out. Why not, right? You need more gold. Oh my goodness. Double stables coming. So blue. Blue isn't ready for a tech up, right? Yeah, Houston is nowhere near it. They've been prioritizing those upgrades we talked about. Their step lancers now attack every 0 0.92 seconds. And they've queued up another... They're down to 0 0.87 attack speed. This is as quick as an Onobagisha. Watch this. <laughs> if he's able to attack, in theory, but he forgot about Undermesh. Oh, no. No, this, listen, this is not it. Buddy, if you had Undermesh, maybe. <laughs> Bank your <rep> <laughs> Guys. Don got Banco Repairs. Did you notice by the repair speed there? Yeah, you can get uh, several levels of Banco Repairs, and it only costs the small fortune of 87 resources per level. <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. Don, he's gone full turtle mode. This is incredible. I love that people are already theory crafting other sieves. Don't worry, we're gonna get to see some of them. We're gonna be spinning that wheel. I the only thing I'd say for the developer is outside the lag here, the other thing I'd recommend is a counter so you can see how many techs each person has. Because right now it's like it's a little bit hard. You have to read it. Oh my wait, Merlin, it, what has he been getting? I'm so confused by Merlin's game strategy. What has he been going for? Like what is Merlin literally just playing standard age of empires right now? He hasn't got wheelbarrow. Has he been getting torch? Don't think so. He hasn't been getting sire bow limbs. I, I don't know what Merlin's doing in this game. <laughs> the way I said that, I don't know why he's here. But it's, he's literally, he's built silver tree in a map with no trade. And he's just vibing playing the most standard form of Age of Empires 4 you could play as Mongols. Well, by standard form, I mean he's basically playing Berliner. So Step Redoubt is on the way. Is he going fast, Imp? <laughs> Five point seven movement speed. Hosen's like, I've done my damage. My griefing is over. I leave you with this part of the map, Don. <laughs> a 
I can't, I tell, I'm not going to lie, folks. It's kind of embarrassing how slow these villagers are, isn't it? 1.29 movement speed. Come on, get on our level. 5.7. Zoom, zoom. Oh, my God. Dude, watching it turn is hurting my eyeballs right now. It looks so janky. And yes, everything in the game is capped at 2. So although it says 5.7, it's 2 movement speed. I don't think modders can overwrite that unless developers give access to something called the state tree in modding. If they've done that, then... Like the last game, when we saw camels at 26 movement speed, they would be able to move that quickly. But it's an, it's an engine restriction right now, so even modders can't change that element. They can, however, screw with attack speed. <laughs> oh my goodness. How's Don doing? What are, we, what are we choosing to go into here? Of course, it has to be the raid bounty improved. Not to mention the fact that he could just start getting into the improved processing now. A lot of these techs, which are usually imp, unlock in Castle Age, by the way. So, for example, you can start getting elite army uh, tactics in Castle Age. You don't have to wait. <laughs> He's going full text. <laughs> All right, guys. 550 HP villages are in. Very fashionable right now. For God's sake. 575 health. Oh, this is going to be a mess. I can already sense it. How are we looking over here for green? What's green been going for? Oh, my dude, he's just getting all the improved processing. Watch this, guys. All right, one villager, when they eventually drop off, which is going to take a while, watch the numbers that pop up when they do. Because they have to gather, I think, 35. <laughs> 99 food. So he gets 60 free food from a drop off. Oh, my God. That is absurd. 60 free food from each villager. That I think is gathering up to 35 resources. So they're getting almost double what they normally would. Right? Actually, maybe not. Is that 40 he stops at? Yeah, 40. And then he gets an extra 23. Also, what? Oh my god, Military Academy works! Oh my god, I can't believe this. Military Academy actually does buff everything. What? Hey guys, have you seen Don Arty's, uh 1 TC build that's more efficient than Crackety's 10 TC build? Yeah, that's a bug by the devs. Military Academy is not meant to work on eco buildings. I think he's the only player to realize as well. Okay, no, no, no. Green over here, down to 11 seconds. Blue is 20. Orange, 15. So some players have realized, to a certain degree at least. And oh my god, Dragovan, look at him coming. Wait, has he maxed out the attack speed? He has! 0 0.83 attack speed! <laughs> Uh-oh. I think Gully Deco might be dead, folks. Oh my god, that's so many! Has he maxed it out as well? W guys, w wait, what? Dragovan has leveled it up so much, he doesn't even have a production time. <laughs> He's literally smorgasbord right now. He's in a jiffied. Oh my god. Golly Deckel. Dude, this, this is a guy after my own heart. He went for Cybolems. He maxed out Cybolems. <laughs> If he can survive this, he can actually beat back Dragovan. Look at the damage he does. 26 per strike, and they have four armor. Dude, he was the only one listening to it. We talked about it. Sire Bolims, you can get it 10 plus times. And then, wait, did he get Sire Bolims? I think he did. And then he went for Incendiary Arrows, right? Like, he can now get Incendiary Arrow levels. So if he maxes out that... This is going to be a, a, a destruction, right? This is going to be what Magadai were when the game first came out in people's eyes. Oh my god. Mr. Merlin now actually inting. <laughs> okay, that is hilarious to watch. Just instantly spawns 10 Keshiks. This is what being against Militia Roost feels like. Oh my god. This is fantastic.
This is more than I could have ever asked for. Has he upgraded? Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Merlin's gone even bigger. 0.64 attack speed. I think Dragovan, yeah, he hasn't gone as hard into Step Lancer yet. The problem right now is the, the Lancer count, like the Keshit count is just in favor of Dragovan, right? And oh my god, dude. Stop copying people's homework. Get your... <laughs> Can you get your own homework, sir? He literally just immediately copy and paste what Gully Deco was doing. But Gully's coming. Donati, in the meantime, has decked up. Interesting. I thought he'd actually go for the Karnet, because an interesting point just got raised. For Dragovan's build, at least, does that mean that the Karnet spawns instantly? It actually might. I've never tested that. Does Military Academy actually affect Karnet? Oh my god, if he actually does fully juice it with Kurotai. This could be crazy. <laughs> okay, I think we need more levels here, Gully. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Is he lacking gold? I think he's out of gold. Oh my god, dude, that sucks. He's got so much wood, but no gold to work with right now. And he's trying to tech up! Oh no. Well, he has got one, two, five villages, so, like, decent health on them, but... Dragovan's not going to make this easy. He comes in with the Horseman now. Has got the multiple levels of biology. 275 health on these feudal age Horsemen. Yes, you heard that correctly. <laughs> Gully. Start stepping back. Find as much time as possible. Right now, he needs someone else to just full and send it into Dragovan. Because the issue for him is Dragovan isn't running out of resources here. Yeah, so Dragovan seems to have failed to copy the homework correctly. It's like when you hand it in and the teacher knows immediately that it's a is your fraud your fake six damage compared to uh 26. not that scary it's dragovan probably gonna have to reset and leave this how's don looking oh don's in dude like, <laughs> genuinely with this attack speed it looks like we're watching two times speed but folks like i'm not in two times speed this is one x this is why I actually want Age of Empires to be... Well, parts of this. Like, not the whole thing, but the... The idea of faster production, faster attack, faster movement speed, like a 1.4 times modifier across the board is what I've been waiting for. This kind of gets that effect. <laughs> now he's spamming horsemen. Oh, I think Don... Has he run out of gold? He's finding more, but he's running out fast, right? He's trying to get the gold together to keep on fighting. Gully Deck, in the meantime, finally reaches Imperial. Okay, this is his moment. The 15-year-old from Germany. Let's go! 52 Magadai. Dragovans. That, that, that damage is pathetic, mate. 11 damage. Try 26. And you're elite, by the way. Dude, I actually think Gully, if he just gets the upgrade, if he can just get a little bit of gold, buy it, and get the, the, the elite. This is like GG territory right now with this combo. We haven't been focusing on the other players because they've been a little bit more complacent, right? Outside this brawl between them. <laughs> And Donati, which, by the way, because of the biology 840 health Keshix, it's not letting up anytime soon. <laughs> I love how this is a race over gold, and because of textiles, he's literally ignoring the units trying to kill him. Meanwhile, into the base, Gully Deco, is he just dead? I mean, he's got 40 Magadai, right? But they are slowly being dented into here. <laughs> this is so messy. Oh, this is incredible. Magadai OP. <laughs> like, that's all I can hear right now in my brain. Dude, what I love about the absurdity of this game mode is like I don't even know what to put in the thumbnail. There's so many silly things. Oh, my dear God. This is just legit in a jiffying. <laughs> I mean, it, it's got multiple stables, which he doesn't even need more than one, folks. Donati could just have one stable and be fine here. But why stop at one? <laughs> this is so stupid. Like, they're just not dying due to biology. Oh, my God. I think Gully is dead, though, up here. It looks like he's starting to make his last stand. TC being burnt down. <laughs> why am I not surprised biology was the difference maker in the end here? It's so sad as well, because I think Gully, he ran out of gold at a critical point where he could have... Probably kill Dragovan off. The drag. Never running out of food. Never running out of wood. I mean, it is just mass horsemen now to win. 
They don't have high torch damage, mind you, because for some reason, I do not know why, nobody has been getting additional torches. Come on. Like, really? You're not going to go additional torches? That's how you win the game. By the way, wait, Military Academy affects pastures as well. So he's capped out on sheep out of each of these right now. No wonder my game is lagging this bad. Meanwhile, Market has a similar idea on the Magadai, just not as strong as what we were seeing out of Gully Deco here. Is enough to really just dent into Hoisin. Hoisin not really with much left here. I think he's got, what, 23 villages and that's it. How is this fight still going on? Oh, that's right, because one unit has 875 health, the other has 720. <laughs> Dude, I'm just looking at Dragovan queuing up more biologies. I'm looking at Don queuing up more biologies. He's going torches. Okay, this is the strike and blow moment, right? Like, one of these players has been doing torches, the other hasn't. So, once those torch upgrades come in, I actually think Don Art is just going to go straight for the kill, right? Like, you have to. Because you're losing the battle right now. Like, you just need to spam Horseman into his landmarks to kill him. Okay, you might not need to. Oh my dear god, my frames. Holy mother of frame rates. Like, <laughs> Dragovan coming in from behind. He's still killing Gully Deco, by the way. It's just. Wait, why is Don up here? What? Whose side are you on? I mean, maybe he wants bounty? Like, torch damage hasn't been buffed, right? It doesn't look like it. It kind of feels like it when I'm seeing the amount of damage they're doing, but something feels off here. I'm wondering if torch damage is bugged. Like, maybe it is increasing, it's just not showing, though. Because he's cleaning up really quick. Meanwhile, though, oh my god, 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 Wait, what? I didn't mean to click away. <laughs> the UI got in the way there. Dawn with banker repairs. He <laughs> can't do it. Dawn Arnie gets taken out by Mr. Merlin. 47 torch damage! I... Where do I even begin? And yeah, for some reason, trees have 100,000 wood. Wait, what? I don't know why. What? That's weird. <laughs> so these wood lines are essentially permanent. Oh my god. Oh, my frames right now. Wait, did he go Karnet? Oh my god, he went Karnet. Where is it? Unpack it. Make yourself known, sir. Mr. Merlin, he went for the Karnet Palace. And he's going for the kill on Dragovan now. This torch damage, dude. It, it took him a long time. I actually thought Mr. Merlin didn't understand how it worked at first, but finally it does. Keshix, Step Lancer, plus torch is the combo, folks. Two landmarks down, Dragovan trying with the Banco repairs. Actually, I don't think he even has Banco here. And it looks like Dragovan, he has to split and run. <laughs> White Stupa into the tree line. Further north of the Kurotai. He's going to try to rat it out here. Unfortunately, I do believe Mr. Merlin has a sense that something's going on here, right? No way. He actually dodges it. Okay, this is a bit dirty. This is why I'm going to have to take this map away from you all now. Gully Deckel, what in the hell? <laughs> Naughty boys. So usually this is not a problem, but <laughs> in this mode it may be because they can't chop trees as well. Actually, usually this is not a problem because usually we don't have Mongols on this map. But this is one of the downsides of the way he spawned the smaller map, right? Is you can see by the uh, the mini map, some of these tree lines are walkable. So Dragovan exists still, I guess? I mean... Funnily enough, if Mr. Merlin just kills the buildings, it's no longer a problem, right? Mr. Merlin now also packing up his landmarks and moving them to different corners. Meanwhile, Blue. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Mad Max right now. Oh, my God. Green and Yellow are, are having a fun time with each other. Yellow has been getting the Step Lancer upgrades. Wait, has he been getting the Ram? No, no Rams. Come on. He's been getting the Siege Works, but he hasn't been getting the... Um, the lightweight beams, right? Oh, no, he has. Sorry, my mistake. Yellow, if you thought Step Lancers were quick, he's attacking every three seconds with these rams. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so cursed. Shout out to Fat Blop for the gifted sub. 
You're an absolute gem. Okay, he knows. He's found it. Dragovan, you rat. No escaping anymore. Oh my god. That's like seven Keshiks doing that much damage to a 5k structure. Right now, these Keshiks hit for 47 torch damage. And they do so in less than a second. So, Dragovan is dead. There is no coming back. Wait, wait, wait. He's trying. TC, TC, run, run. So here's the mistake that Dragoman made. He stopped moving with his landmarks. If you just keep running, guys, never stop running. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. See, I think Karnet does immediately pump the units. So Merlin, is he actually capped right now? No. So he should, he should actually deploy this. So he can just keep spamming out units right now. Instead, he might lose the Karnet to yellow. Is Redbeard ignoring <laughs> Oh, this is such a mess. Dude, I, I, someone please just take the sacred site so they can stop running away with, with landmarks, please. I gave you a single sacred site in the center for a reason, folks. This was exactly why. Gully is still alive in a tree line somewhere with one. <laughs> okay, he still has a small military force. Wait, where? What? Oh. Oh, he's trying to recover resources to rebuild. So he's just ruining what remains of Dawn. <laughs> Recycling's important, folks. You know, just take Dawn's arm and rip it off and turn it into a nice little hut. It's very poetic. Oh my god. This is... <laughs> Are we literally just going to watch people drive around in circles for the next god knows how long? Guys, come on. Listen, wait, wait. Where are we going here? He's running straight into Gully Deco. Does Gully let him exist is what I'm wondering though. Merlin has discovered all the spearmen up here. These spears, by the way, I don't think they've actually had their the stats increased, right? Yeah, so Le Lamet, this isn't ideal. He went max military academy, but he hasn't gone for elite army tactics yet. And I've seen quite a few players neglect this, right? Like if you're going to play into these type of units, elite army tactics has just got here. How's the yellow look in the center? So he's got max step lances too, right? I actually think Merlin might be stronger, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 0 0.64 compared to the uh, 0 0.87. On top of that, Redbeard has yet to get any biology. So even though it looks like a fight that Redbeard should win, uh, he's not going to. <laughs> because each of these red Keshiks has seven times the health of yellows. Six times at least. Okay, Gully, are we rebuilding? I like. Wait, wait. I I love how he went to get the sheep to bring them back over to this one villager. Oh my god. I just can't right now. This game. There we go. Mullen's done it. He's in. Sacred site locked in. Ten minutes away from a victory for Red. Everyone needs to gun it for this. Now, remember the... Oh, God, I just realized. So, remember the way that Sacred Sites work, folks, is if someone contests it, the countdown stops. Now, I want you to be just completely cognitive of the fact that a lot of people in this game have units that have about 1,000 HP, which means they can delay your win condition on the Sacred Site for quite a while. I'm sorry. Outpost spam not working out. Looks like someone forgot about their Pax Mongolia. Or is that not in? I don't think that's in, right? No. There, there, there it is. Yeah. Pax Mongolica. You can get it. So no chunky outposts here. But very chunky knights. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I don't think Age of Rams is going to work this time, right? Like these Keshiks just attack way too quickly. I mean, these are 1000 HP Rams. So in theory... I think Rams are going to be pretty strong in the unlimited upgrades mode against sieves that can't move their landmarks. But Rams are ineffective against Mongols because they pack up and run. <laughs> Market really doesn't like Mr. Merlin right now. Wait, is this his... Oh my god, that's his last landmark. Oh my god, Mr. Merlin, he gets grabbed! Mr. Merlin, who looked like he was going to end this game, control that central sacred site, is dead. 
I cannot believe this. What a yoink from Market. Market, who looked like he was dead himself. Instead, Merlin will be the one knocked out here. Wait, has he got one left? Uh, Where's his final? Oh my god, it's here. It's here. Guys, guys, calm down. Calm down. I'm jumping the gun. The Carnet Palace, which has been doing laps of the map, is still alive. It's with him in the center. Red is not out yet. So the countdown continues. What on earth am I seeing out of purple here? <laughs> Dragovan is looking for anything. He wants the landmarks. Unfortunately, the body blocks do come in from the Kashyyyks. And red is now going after him. Yellow getting pinched from two sides here. Oh my goodness. I mean, where do you go? <laughs> where is safe Dragovan? How much resources Dragovan got? What? Like, dude, okay. For, like, what? <laughs> it's literally just gone for a TC boom. Dragovan, please. You could have units right now, sir. So, do you want me to tell you what the problem with this map is, folks? They all want to upgrade. But there's something you need for additional upgrades at this stage that they just don't have. They need gold. Would you like to ID where gold veins still exist on this map? It's literally this one vein up here. It's the only gold vein that remains. Oh my goodness. So it's kind of interesting, right? Because it means if you make what seems like a poor choice on your tech up avenue, you don't really have much left. Gold veins exist in every Mongol building. <laughs> That's true. You just need to burn them. Uh, remember, you can't infinite upgrade the bounty. That's th that's not possible here. You can upgrade the torch, but you can't infinite upgrade the bounty. Thank God. That that would kind of bust it a bit. Well, low coming in. Uh, looks like Hoisin is trying to get back in the game. And what better way than with 575 HP villagers? I mean, you could trade if there was a marketplace. Folks, remember, there's no default trade post on this map by design. The only player you could trade with is Mr. Merlin. And uh, that would require that you didn't burn down his landmark. Oh, my God. Are we just going to get a sacred site victory at this rate? I think we are. Oh, dude, I love that Merlin. He's going to stand on the sacred site with the relics, right? So then his opponents can't rush in. He only has 100 military, by the way. I say only. He has 100 military with a combined health pool of 10... Of, sorry, 100,000. <laughs> 105,000 to be specific. Oh my god. And it looks like everyone's a bit too distracted fighting me. <laughs> too. I can't take this game seriously. I just, I can't. I'm literally just ro watching Hoisin go around the map every once in a while, wall lol a, a new force, and then continue his grand migration across Europe. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I guess it's the steps. It is a bit Europey green. Villages? I mean, they haven't got torch upgrades, but it doesn't matter, right? They still deal with these outposts pretty quickly. Unfortunately, they also die even quicker to Keshix. Only 150 health on each of them. <laughs> the game engine was not built for this. The game engine was not built for this. <laughs> I do not even want to imagine what Arrow Volley of the English or Composite Bows of the Abbasas would look like here. It would probably crash everyone's game. Now I regret telling people about that because that means they're probably going to try it next time. Merlin has to be close, right? Are we like four minutes away? Maybe five? Well, low pump. Bit early here. I, I, you know, Mr. Merlin, a bit premature on, on the, the launch there. I mean, the villagers are down, right? But like, I think he needed to wait until Redbeard came a bit closer. Maybe get some extra Keshix. Maybe he just doesn't care, though. He's still holding on. Mr. Merlin, who, if he just unpacked the Carnet, could have had so many units by now. Uh, but where is the Carnet right now? It's still on here, right? It's TC plus Carnet in the center. 
I'm pretty sure because he did get maximum production, right? Like, if he just pumps the Karna, units are going to come flowing out. I think production is going to be a little bit less broken outside of Mongol matchups just because you won't be able to guarantee 200 pop, right? And yes, you can upgrade chemistry a bunch. I don't know about China. I think so because the way that the the upgrades are positioned in a farm, you might be able to use China. It might even be automatically unlocked, but that feels like it'd be a bit broken, which is why we keep doing mirror matchups. I'm so glad I left Sacred Sight win condition on. Holy smokes, if I turned that off, this would be catastrophic. Spinman now coming in from Dragovan. He has got some levels of elite army tactics, but folks, that there's a hardened Spearman. Oh, for the love of God. They need to be upgraded, man. They desperately need to be upgraded. <laughs> And there's not many levels of elite army tactics right now. We must be getting close here, though. Mr. Merlin. Everyone is coming now. Village is being pulled by Market. Market has 425 HP on each of them. What is this mess? I mean, can they get the decap? Yellow's pushing in now as well. Pink also here with juiced up units. Everyone versus Mr. Merlin. And his numbers, they're shrinking. Military down to 100. Has to protect the landmark here. Karnat Pass was almost exposed, and it is Ram shuffling time. Wallow's going to come out. He looks to pinch him, and he's done it green. A bunch of villagers get trapped in. Mr. Merlin reboosts his numbers by 30. He's got a second Wallow, right? There we go. Comes out with it. Villagers once again panic. Look to move away. We'll be able to get away. Spearman run a little bit in range, though. Mr. Merlin being generously donated more units. He's going to need them, though. These Spearmen, they're starting to sting a bit. <laughs> this game is never ending. Oh my god, Marlin. If he had just unpacked the carnage, the carnage he could have wielded upon this map, unleashed upon it. But instead, the numbers are going to start to shrink. Wallow comes out in the meantime from Huston. Looking to get more of Don Artis villages and horsemen. Major League buffed up right now. Blue has been rebooming in the south. Still not getting military academy though. Mr. Merlin, wait, how is he winning this? Like, oh my god. Okay, wait, so let's do the maths here. Spearmen take 1.88 seconds to attack. The Keshiks attack twice in that time. Actually, three times. They heal for, I believe it's 10? Maybe, maybe more. Let's have a look. 761. Attack something. Dude. That. He's healing for 24, right? I'm pretty sure that's 24 health. So he's healing. He's actually out healing most of these Spearman's damage. <laughs> However, more Lee Army tactics are coming. So Dragovan, the number is slowly scaling in favor of purple here. That countdown is not scaling their way. It's getting closer to the end. Fleet Horse Arch is being added in, courtesy of the Karnat. This is non-stop pump, right? Like right now, Lamet's one issue is he can't lose units quick enough. No way is Merlin going to win this. I mean, he's down to 72 military. This is the beginning of the end. One minute left. He just needs to keep them off the sacred site. Can he actually do it? Dragovan, he comes in with the villagers. Round the backside. Where's the Carnet though? Where is it right now? I just can't even see it. I think it's in the corner. And I don't think he's got any monks left, right? No wall of attempts. Dragovan in with the commitment here. This is just ludicrous. <laughs> Mr. Merlin, so close. He can taste it. But he simply can't swallow. Oh. Right now, actually, he's having everything rammed down his throat. Villagers, Ram, Spearman. Everyone versus Mr. Merlin. But the sacred site, it's done. He can't hold on any longer. He has been blocked out. How <laughs> frustration chases after the Khan. Now, wait a second. Is this... Wait, Mr. Merlin. Wait a second. Is this a smart move to get them to fight each other? Okay, dude, if that's the idea, this is genius. But right now, the risk is Mr. Merlin has left the Khan at Palace here. And if they notice, 
He's going to just be GG'd out. And oh my god, they noticed. <laughs> oh my god. Lamette. He's targeting him down. Begins to back away though. And wait, where did Purple go? Oh my god, they killed each other! Merlin! They could have just killed the landmark! But instead, the spearmen cleaned each other up! Mr. Merlin! With the walk around the block of a sentry! I cannot believe this! This should not be allowed! Mr. Merlin! Goes for a stroll, and when he comes back, the world has been gifted to him. Dragovan has not got an army here. It's just all villagers again. And Orange, he backed away. Oh my god. Merlin is about to be gifted victory. Dragovan on his way back, but it's going to be too late this time. We're what, 20 seconds away? Maybe 30? No way. All troops on the way. Merlin, this is going to be close. A wall low coming in. Oisin recruiting more units to the cause. Villagers all in again. Dragovan pulls across, but the body blocks. Villagers not able to keep them in. Merlin gets out again. But the landmark this time is gone. Merlin, wait, did he... Oh my god! The TC got away! <laughs> Gully holding him back from escaping. He's like, guys, over here. Gu guys, he's here. Gu guys! Finally, they do it. The decap that we've been waiting for. It felt like it's been 25 minutes, 25 years. But it's done. Merlin does not get the win. Seconds away from a victory here. Six seconds out. He gets denied. And golly. Oh, 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 uh oh. Uh, 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 run. <laughs> so Merlin's just going to hide in the tree line now and use his Giga Chad army of Keshiks to try and kill whatever he can find. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the trees, folks. The trees were truly my mistake. I should, I should have chosen a map without these type of tree lines. I think it's gonna. I think this map works for the other matchups, but for the Mongol one, it's a bit messy. I still can't believe so many players have ratted their way out of this problem. Oh my goodness! So who wins this now? Is it gonna be Orange? I mean, Orange makes his, his play, right? He goes to the center. Only has one level of Pax Mongolica, so these aren't incredibly tanky outposts. I hold the resources looking, though. I mean, Lemaire, loads of food and wood, but that's kind of it. Oh my god, no! Redbeard! While Orange wasn't looking, he goes all in with the Rams. 1,000 HP, an extra 50 ranged armor, and they attack every 2.5 seconds. Lemaire, look, dude, Lemaire, just, just F12. F12 right now. F12. Lemaire. Don't even don't even press the key. Just click the button right here. The unpack, please. <laughs> okay, Lemaire should be able to hold on. He's got 40,000 wood. I think he can keep repairing with banker repairs here. <laughs> Wait, sir, sir, you need to repair that. Sir, you need to repair. Sir, you need to repair that. Lemaire. Oh, thank God. Okay, Redbeard gets taken out. Redbeard is dead. Lamet will stay alive. Wait, Lamet, no, 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 no. <laughs> Redbeard, who's dead right now, his rams won't stop attacking. Finally, he does it. He packs it up. Oh my god. I, dude, it, I couldn't. If he had died like that, of all the ways to die in this game. Drag around now, making his move to the center though. Lamette getting denied out here. We are 50 minutes in this game and still somehow we have six players in the match. <laughs> Spearman on Spearman. But Dragovan has a uh, slight edge here, guys. This is Elite Spear versus Elite Spear, but you might notice the difference between the two. 
One load hits for 18 with 200 health. Uh, the other hit for 43 damage with 470 health. Good God. <laughs> that wasn't even close. All right, Lamette. I think this is the end of the road. Mr. Merlin actually went into grief from here. There's no escaping this. Lamette, where's the final landmark? It's just right here. Nah. Is Dragovan really going to win this? I think he is. Look at Yellow's TC. You were the one who killed him, Merlin. <laughs> Merlin decides to play Griefer against everyone because he can't win. I Wait, they're stuck? Oh, no. We'll just delete the army and rebuild it, Merlin. It just, just, just delete it and rebuild. It, it's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> Spimming her in, guys. These guys are going to make quick work of the villagers. Elite archers coming out, but they, they have no damage. All I can hear is... Dun -dun 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 I'm going to... Let me look at a different player. I can't that, that noise is tilting me right now. I think Orange is dead, right? Like, he's found a way into the tree line, so maybe he survives because of that. But these buildings could just be torched down. Like, if Dragovan gets rid of these archery rangers, the racks, stables, it's all over. And I don't think anyone else can contest him right now. Maybe Blue, who's been rebooming. That's the one player. So this is more or less just a, a 1v1. Gully Deco, in the meantime, has returned home. <laughs> what? Gully, what are we doing right now? Like, can you explain, please, what this is? Surviving question mark? Oh no, he's been seen. <laughs> wait, so he left? Wait, 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 no, please come back. This game needs to end. Guys, guys, please. This is going to make me never allow a Mongol free for all ever again. Like, please go kill each other. I'm getting flashbacks to Salami and Outback Octagon 1 hiding in tree lines right now. This is absurd. Please kill each other. He's up to 46 damage now. Half a thousand HP on a Spearman. This is insane. Gully. <laughs> you know, usually one of the big downsides of doing free-for-alls is when a player gets eliminated, they just have to stare, right? But isn't this so much more inclusive, what we've done here? <laughs> you know, apart from Redbeard and Don who are dead. Everyone else just keeps existing. Isn't that beautiful? Very poetic of us. Big clappers in chat. It's all, all about participating, guys. They all got ribbons. Okay, please make a move. <laughs> Someone has to go for Sacred Sight. Gu guys, don't make this like... <laughs> don't make this one of those games where you don't do anything for half an hour. Someone make a move. Okay, Dragoman's making moves. He's... He's going after Husin. He's worried about the backstab. That's understandable. Orange is a bit stuck. So I, for a second, I thought Dragovan was just going home to boom. It looks like he wasn't. He was just going for the other side of the map. So golf, golf claps for Dragovan right now for the strategic play. He doesn't want to reboom here. He wants to make sure everyone is shut down permanently. Oh my God. <laughs> they hit so hard. They have more base damage than they have bonus damage. <laughs> Why do they have a spear wall stat as well? Has that always been there and I've just never given it attention? Probably. Yeah, because that's when they brace, right? The stats are slightly different. Oh my dear god. With 50 health villages, really? Alright, well, Hoisin is dead. <laughs> Surely, there is no way you win this fight. Some of these villagers are actually carrying right now. His standard villagers don't have textiles, but the ones he will love from Don do. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Merlin is still raiding with a few knights he has left. <laughs> Wait, you've got Merlin? Where have you got... Wait, what? <laughs> no. 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 The slowest death. You are going to see in this free-for-all. Keshik's are coming, though. 
Calm may have chosen poorly. Run! <laughs> hey guys, Keshiks are only OP if they can attack to heal. If they can't, then then can't GG, right? <laughs> and immediately Hoisin gets moving again. Oh my god. I I can't I, I just can't with this game. <laughs> I've created an abomination. Actually, I haven't created it. The Chinese dev who created this has created an abomination. I've just revealed an abomination. I'm part of the problem. Oh, Oisin, off to make a new home elsewhere. Still no one bothering to go for sacred sites. Wait, did he get out? Or has he just been rebuilding? What happened here? Why? I don't... Oh my god. Wait, wait what? Mr. Merlin rebuilt. All right, he's back in. What? That I didn't see coming. Mr. Merlin rebooming the Keshiks now. Very limited on food and wood, though. I mean, he's smart, right? If he keeps finding buildings to burn, then he can keep building. He can keep existing. However, purple, Dragon should be now be taking these out. The marketplace is the reason this was all possible. Blue, what? <laughs> Oh, poor Hoisin, just looking for a corner. I just... Oh, my God. I can't. Just watching the... Just watching the packed up buildings dance is giving me a brain aneurysm. <laughs> it's so janky. So, you know how, like, we said everyone was going to come into this game with a different game plan? I think Hoisin just kind of got in the game. He set up his early game, got 20 minutes in, and he went, Alexa, play. I like to move it, move it. And the last 40 minutes of gameplay for them has been, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Move what? The base! Move it! <laughs> He's just been doing laps of the map. Green is now joining that concession. <laughs> Someone take the sacred site! For the love of God! <laughs> it's just right there! Just capture it! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still in this. <laughs> That's true, we're playing Mongol Kart right now. I just I <laughs> Is that the name of this video? Mongol Kart Unlimited Upgrades? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. There's just so much stupid stuff. Oh, this is incredible. All right, TC down. Merlin's trying to kill Dragovan right now. Dragovan, who's the strongest player, because Merlin doesn't want this game to ever end. I guess my plans of hosting another one after this might go down the drain at this rate, because this game is not ending. <laughs> Up oh, market. Wait a second. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, market, market's dead, market's so dead. Merlin's found another green is out. Wait, no. No, he's still got another landmark. Just die! <laughs> Why do you all refuse to just die? I can't believe this. I got baited hard there. The panic repair on the center. I was like, this must be it. Nope. Market is at negative two wood. 19 gold, 1,000 food. Based on this. I just can't. This is so dumb. Just a reminder, this is a critical time to, to highlight that if people have got Amazon Prime, they should be using their Twitch Primes here. Um, because ads could pop up at any moment on Twitch. And I, and I wouldn't want you guys to miss a single second of this because anything could happen at any second. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Mullins found him, mark it. <laughs> I feel like Merlin is just my enforcer right now. He's like, oh, got to find those stragglers and shut them down. Be a shame if Gully Deckle got found in the, the south side tree line. This is the test to see if he knows. I think he does. 
Okay, Dragoran has captured the sacred. What? Why does this keep happening with TCs? <laughs> I don't know why, but TCs keep doing this. It's so cursed. Dragoran. He's captured the sacred site and now he's going for kills. I think Dragoran's got this. This should be over. If he just burns down that TC right there. It, oh, it's off. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> Gully Dickel got found. He's out. Mr. Merlin is clearing up the scraps, hiding in the tree lines. You know what? Like, anyone who's like, he stream sniped me. No, I'm fine with this. I'm legit. Usually I say no to stream sniping, but if people are literally just hiding landmarks in tree lines, they deserve to die. Like, you know, Dragoran over here, who has um, one landmark in the northeast, another in the southeast, and then one in the northwest. Merlin has one down here. I want everyone out of that bloody tree line. <laughs> At least Toysen is doing laps of the map. Oh my god. In fairness, all the... Like I said, I, I don't condone stream sniping. You know how I feel about guys. Admittedly, in this situation, I think what happened, if people are doing it, is they saw this game is taking way too long. And Dragoran has basically won. So, it's kind of time to tuck the kiddies in and put them to sleep. And no, I don't think a single tree has been fully chopped through in this game. I don't know why they have uh, 100,000 health, uh, 100,000 wood actually. I'm, I'm not sure what caused that. Maybe someone misclicked something in the lobby because there are modifiers you'd increase the amount of resources certain resources have. Okay, Hoisin. Wait, did, did Hoisin get pinched? Oh my god, he got pinched. He's blue dead. Blue's got one landmark left. This might be the end of Hoisin. Hoisin, who's been rebooming with his max spam of infinite e uh, instant villages, rather. I mean, funnily enough, wait. I <laughs> oh, Merlin got stuck again. I are you stuck, Step Lancers? I think all the Step Lancers are stuck, guys. I think Mr. Merlin cannot enforce anything anymore. He's trying to get new lances going. <laughs> He's got 64 step stuck step lances. <laughs> I, I I don't even know where to begin for a thumbnail and title with this video. I really don't. I, I just, I can't even. I, so much, so much of this. The one lance that's free is dead. All right, sacred site locked in still for Dragovan. Why, Hoisin? What? Why? Okay, so so, query me this: if this is the play, why no court architects? Because I could actually get behind this, right? Court architects, extra three hundred percent HP on TCs. TC spam can make sense. You kind of need it though. I just every time I look across, it, it's got damn lances. I'm shaking my head so much. I think we've done it though, guys. I, I, I think this is the end of this game. There it is. GG comes out. Merlin has no recovery anymore. The ghost calm. Wait, where's the ghost calm? What am I looking for here? What are upgrades do spears get? Uh, so you can give them torch damage, but you can also give them elite army tactics. Dragovan was the only person to clock just how broken elite army tactics would be in this late phase of the game. <laughs> Where his step lancers are? Wait, is this... Oh my god, you're right. His Khan is in there. Like, wait, what? <laughs> what, the, what is this Khan doing? He's still trying to kill someone. He's like, I've almost got him, guys. Only 500 HP to go. Oops. Oh my goodness. So it's down to three. I think it's time to wrap it up, lads. Blue ain't doing nothing. Oh, for God's sake, he's going He's going for another circle of the map. Do we just... I'm tempted to just call it now and leave this lobby. <laughs> there is no way anyone else can win this game. 
I'd rather they just both concede if they're not going to all in him right now. Because I'm not sure what the comeback is. Hoisin, I mean, he's got a little bit of food, but not enough to win this. Yeah, get your butts in there. Stop running and fight. Same with Orange. I, none of this pussy thing. You either win or lose right now. Yeah, you've got one archery range, mate. That's all you need, Lamette. Literally just spam archers and go. Either win or lose. Because you've got four minutes to go. <laughs> For God's sake. Hoisin is trying to keep the convoy going. I love how these villagers are just chasing him with their seven damage against 800 health textile village. Why? This is so cursed. How is there that many levels of textiles? I, I just... I, I, what? Like 825. So wait, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but if I'm not mistaken, because there should only be 10 levels of textiles. I think Hoisin, these are the one old villages from Donai, and then he's got the extra health on top of it. All right, here we go, guys. Make or break. Lamette, it's Archer Printer. <laughs> it's time. To do -do 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 die? Probably die. It's do or die. Unfortunately, there's a there's a little negative to playing into archers this late in the game, folks. Their health is kind of pathetic. Compared to uh, any melee unit you can get. So, not going to hold my breath on this one. But props to Lamette for getting the army together. It's time to go. Three minutes left till Sacred Sight defeat. Or victory in Dragovan's case. I don't know if anyone wins if they watch this deep in the video. I guess at this point, it's, we might as well stick for the conclusion. The positive at least is we know that everything but Mongols will not be this long. Or at least not for the reasons the Mongol one was. Which is literally just walling, uh, walking around the map with your unlimited max speed packed up buildings. No other Sith can do that. Thank God. Here we go. Arch is marching in. This is going to be so one-sided. Oh, my God. I mean, this is not even going to look fair. Here we go. How fair, how far comparison? <laughs> the entire army can snipe a spearman one at a time. I mean, if he just packs up the buildings, this isn't even close. Lamet, I... <laughs> He's dying so quickly to this. He's killing like two spearmen and losing about 10 to 20 archers. Two minutes away. Meanwhile, Hoisin now arriving with all of the buildings. <laughs> These spearmen hit for 60 damage. A stab. Buildings are shuffling in, but I mean, this is the end of the road. I don't know why he's attacking a Carnet Palace that isn't even alive anymore, but that's the game we're in. This is so messy. I've got to stop hosting Mongol-only lobbies. <laughs> but thankfully, this one looks about done. Blue moved all the pastures, everything else in, but they aren't going to last long here. Villagers are also showing up with 800 HP, but against the 60 damage spearmen, I'm doubtful they can do anything. Oh, God. If you're enjoying what you're seeing here and you want to see more, by the way, of this kind of absurdity, this clownery, the modded scene as well as the community action, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following everywhere as well. Who knows? Maybe you could be in the next one of this making me lose my hair and lose my mind with your refusal to die for an hour and 10 minutes. But an hour and 10 minutes is the cutoff point here. Dragovan, between the destroyed landmarks... And the mass spearman. Nobody can get on the sacred site to stop him. Dragavan, the purple Mongol, will be your winner in the Mongol only unlimited upgrades. But I think we're gonna have to do more of this. We've we've still got at least 15 more matchups to test here. <laughs> oh god, what have I created? And I personally am looking forward to it. These mangonels, by the way, they attack every 1.67 seconds. <laughs> GG. 
Dragoman is your champion. I'll catch you all in the next chapter.